All right. Hello, everyone. This is Mrs. Jordan. Um, we are Art Studio 108. So I decided instead of typing a very long email, because I know as a parent, you are probably getting uh, bombarded with emails right now from all of your kids' teachers. If you haven't started getting them yet, I know next week is going to be a very full inbox for all of us. So I decided instead of typing a long email that I would record a brief kind of next steps getting started before the first day of school. So you and your student have an idea of what's going on and what you need to do to prepare for not only art class, but all of your classes coming up next week. All right, so let's get started. Um, if you don't know me, this is me. I'm Mrs. Jordan. I have been teaching art for six years. I was at Founders Flower Mound originally, starting back in 2015. I'm very happy to be back in the studio this year. I'll have grade six through 10th grade studio art this year, and I'm very, very excited to be back. All right, here is our new studio. We have a sink. I am very excited about this and um, lots of storage, flat file storage for paper. And I have locking drawers for supplies. All right, so quick checklist for parents and students. Okay, so before the first day of school, you're going to want to try some of these things out. Do not wait until, you know, 7.30 in the morning on the first day of school to try to figure this out. Just take some time to kind of get familiar with all the different programs and where you need to go. I know for our sixth graders, it is a scary experience any first day of school, but this is also your first day of middle school. And then we have some ninth graders. It's your first day of high school. <laughs> so it's similar to, you know, not knowing your schedule, but this way it's, it's the online version. So there's an extra couple of steps involved. All right, so before the first day of school, you want to log into your school provided student Gmail account. And if you don't know this email, it's in Jupyter, kind of under your settings, and uh, the school can help you with that. You need to check this email, your student's email, check the spam for invitations to the classrooms. So every teacher, so you know, for each of your classes, your teacher will be adding students to the classroom. Google Classroom sends out an automatic invitation once the teacher adds you to their class. Now, if for some reason you don't see the invitation or that doesn't work, that's okay. Um, you can join a class with the class code and I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. It would be helpful to bookmark your classroom.google.com. Once you are in a class, once you have joined the class, this is the tab where all of your classes will be here at once. So really that's the only web address that you'll need to remember. So bookmarking it at the top of your screen will be very helpful. Oh, let's go back. Okay. Uh, you can also, if you are completely new to Google Classroom, like you've, you've never used it before, you're not familiar with it, uh, Ms. Hunt and I created a Google Classroom tutorial video. Now that one's a little bit longer, but it goes step by step of what all the different features are of Google Classroom. I'll have the link to that in this email. All right, for art class, you will want to gather your art supplies. Now, for the first two weeks, we are only going to be using graphite pencils and a sketchbook or just basic drawing paper. Okay? I'm not going to do any projects that are not graphite. Now, if you are a student that is going to be continuing with online learning for the nine weeks, you will probably need to invest in additional art supplies. So I will include those links in this email. So there's a quick bundle. So there's one link that's on the founder's website. That is the basic get you started, what you need for the first two weeks. So that's just, I think there's graphite on there, a sketchbook, some paper, and there might be an inexpensive watercolor set on there as well. Do not stress about the watercolor right away. We'll add that 
once we get back in person. Now, the link I am putting in the email is to Blick Art Supplies. This is their pre-made bundle for both grades six through eight and high school. If you already have supplies at home, please use what you have. If you have a sketchbook that still has pages left, please use that. You do not need to buy brand new everything. If you have several students in the school, uh, they are more than welcome to share their supplies. So as long as you have access to, you know, at least one set of each thing, um, the sketchbook, they'll need their own individual one. But other than that, um, I'm fine with you know, siblings sharing. That's not a problem. Uh, whatever works. So to start first two weeks, graphite pencils and sketchbook, they need that basically kind of the second day of school. So next Thursday, they need to have something. If you can't find the graphite pencils, just a regular number two pencil will work, but eventually uh, they will need the full set of graphite. Okay, um, next up, you'll want to write down your student schedule or they can write it down. Um, and then I would include, you know, your start and end times of each class, just a helpful reminder. Everyone's gonna be stressed. It's just kind of like in person when you're, instead of wandering around the halls looking for your class, you're going to be, you know, on your computer trying to remember what class you need to go to next. Right. So the upper school bell schedule, here's this, you can come back and kind of pause this if you need to, and you can write everything down. Remember upper school and lower school have a different schedule. So especially the end time is important to note. Um, they are different. Okay, so on the first day, breathe. I know it's going to be stressful for all of us. And um, there will be mistakes and it's okay. We'll figure it out. Uh, so you're basically all you're doing is you are following your schedule. So if you have high school studio art first period, you are going to log into the high school studio Google Classroom. And then at the top on the header, there's a link and it says Google Meet. You will click on that link to go to start the class. So you need to be clicking on that right at your start time. So for first period at 8 a.m., you're going to be clicking on the Google link to start class. I'll, I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. So I'm so excited. I get to see you soon, even if it is just virtually, but we're going to make it a great year. All right. So for your classes, this is an example of what your screen uh, will look like. Of course, you'll have all your individual classes. Um, I've bookmarked it. So classroomgoogle.com. I would save this. And then you'll see, you know, if your English class right here, your math class, etc. And then you'll just click on the one you're going to. And right here, so it says meet link. This is the link that you will click. If you are on an iPad, this little video recorder is kind of up here in the right hand corner. All right, so just be prepared. And I don't think it has the link listed out It's just the icon. So it's a little confusing the first time you do it. Um, so now for mine, I have the period that you're in with the time. Um, the class code again is up here as well, but you should already have that. Mine is on my syllabus. So I've put all my class codes for each section included on my syllabus. And I'll also kind of write them out in the email. So you have those in one couple different spots to find quickly if you're still trying to get into a classroom. All right, so um, I post things here. So you, this is a stream. This is similar to kind of a social media thing where you just have a post, quick announcements, and then the classwork will be in here. Now for my class, I already have a lot of things posted in here. Do not worry about anything. Do not click on anything. You're not watching anything. You're not doing any of these assignments until the day of our class. So we'll be going in. And so this example, this video studios, a studio expectations and procedures, we will be doing that together um, on the first day of school. So don't worry about all this. I'm preloading a lot of this uh, just so it's ready to go, but it is not anything you need to worry about yet. Okay. 
one day at a time, guys, one day at a time. All right. So that's all I have. And I hope you have a great weekend. And as you're gearing up for the first day of school, if you have any questions, please send me a message through Jupiter Ed. That's the best way to get a hold of me right now. Um, once your student is in their classroom, they can also send me a direct message through the class the classroom. And that's a pretty quick way for me to respond to them, especially if we are in that class. So if we're here in second period, I can usually respond right away. But now if we've moved on to third period and they are in second period art, there will be a delay until uh, usually after school. So just, just keep that in mind. Um, I will not be answering chats or email uh, after 4 p.m. So also keep that in mind. Um, I do start answering things at about 6 a.m. <laughs> so if there's something you need right away, uh, please try to send that during the school day uh, so there's not too much of a delay in getting you an answer. All right, guys, um, have a great one, and I will see you soon.